They're a common sight around Halloween time. Decorative skeletons meant to give you the heebie-jeebies. Here are some of our favorite skeleton stories. Some Oregon residents hoped these skeletons would get drivers to slow down when passing through their neighborhood. You get little motorcycles and little hot rods, or just people in a fast car. They love this corner and they'd step on it. Colleen Town says she wanted to come up with a way to get people to think about their actions. I've been thinking about it for a long time. I finally just went, you know, I'm so tired of everybody kind of bombing around this corner and, uh, and no consideration. As if reports of a hurricane aren't scary enough. This satellite image of Hurricane Matthew from 2016 was especially chilling. The image was first captured by the NASA Earth Science Office, and you can't help but see a smirking skull in the photo, which a meteorologist from the Weather Channel said was true to form. This is some really freaky, sinister looking face, which unfortunately is consistent with the hurricane being sinister because it's already been deadly and destructive. Gracias, gracias. The dead are worshipped in Bolivia, sort of. The annual Skull Festival invites Bolivians to bring the skulls of deceased family members to a mass to ask for blessings of wealth and health. <laughs> While the Catholic Church considers the holiday to be pagan, it doesn't discourage worshipers from participating. Devotees dress their loved ones' remains with flowers and cocoa leaves and celebrate their belief in rebirth. Here's one way to get people to use their phones less. Warn them that excessive cell phone use could cause them to grow horns. These x-rays show bone spurs developing at the base of a skull due to what doctors say is too much time spent looking down at a device. If you keep your neck really bent forward for an extended period of time, then you end up stretching some of the ligaments in the back and it protrudes these cervical bones. Now for the important question, how do we prevent this from happening? You're keeping your shoulders straight, your lower back is in good alignment, so this is helping all that. And I think if you do that on a regular basis and remind yourself, I think those things will go a long way in preventing those horns. Brainless idiots! And one famous skeleton will scare you, then insult you for being so scared. You are a whip scientist and you could be a whip villain! But Skeletor, nemesis to He-Man, actually has a lot of valuable life lessons to offer, according to author Rob Perlman, who wrote the book, What Would Skeletor Do? The biggest thing Skeletor can teach us is what not to do, but I try to turn that around and say the tiny little nuggets of wisdom that he could give us. Of course, you worthless hunk of fur! Books are the real treasures of the world. As evil as he is, you know, you have to admire his tenacity and his stick to -itiveness. Every episode, he just kept, keeps trying and trying and trying. Who will stop me, not you? How about me, Skeletor? Sometimes he realizes that the only way to get things done is to do it yourself. Witless fools, do I have to do everything for you? You pathetic pair of pitiful pinheads! Get over here, you furry fool! That's certainly finding a silver lining in a very dark cloud. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Matulbano.